So, hey guys, Chauso here. So today I want to talk about the upcoming month, which is obviously going to be the big anniversary month. And <clears throat> we're going to talk about a theory here, which is that anniversary month won't look the same as it usually do. And as every month do, because as you know, nowadays every month has first a point event with the end of a month batch. Then we move into Grand Party and PvP Finals. Then we move on to Treasure Map. Thank you, Kizuna. And during the Kizuna, before the month ends, we get the next month's end of month batch. But that might not be the case this time. And there are actually some evidence that supports this theory. And that will actually be a bombshell, at least for me personally, because I've been playing OPTC since the Stampede days on Global. And every single month, at the end of the month, we got the traditional end of month batch. Doesn't matter what it is, even during an anniversary, they make it super stressful. Like no time between the events, rush. To get to the end of the month, then they drop the new filling batch. But as said, might not be the case. Let's start from the beginning, and we'll start by going through a post that uh, Fate of Muffins made on Reddit. Shout outs to him, he always gives great info. Uh, when I first read this, I felt a lot of skepticism. But as said, I'm on board with most of these now. So let's just recap the timeline that Fate of Muffins suggests here. And he starts by bringing up that at any time now, we can get the big update announcement. And I'm totally on board with that. As he writes, last two years, we had big updates around this date. Personally, I think it will be announced once we leave the maintenance after the trash map that is scheduled. Makes sense for me to announce the big update then. Then we do the Kisuna, which starts April 19th. And when that ends, we get another maintenance where they actually implement the update. So yeah, <coughs> that should definitely be interesting. And of course, as he mentions, as usual, we will get done end of month batch here. We'll see if we get what he calls a turtle island. I like to call them point to win personally. Because we actually have turtle islands for your farm experience, so calling everything turtle island just makes it confusing. But we'll see if we actually get a point to win because Banner has hinted that the new mode we're supposed to be getting might involve uh, the point events because apparently they are too much grind. I actually think they are good, but not my favorite content. So if they are replaced with something more fun and creative, fine by me. Anyway, he's, he thinks that Grand Party starts around May 1st. I think that's a Monday, so I think that's a bit too early. Usually starts on like a Wednesday. That will be my guess. We're going to look at an actual calendar later to See that it checks out. Uh, he says dead week. I guess that's his word for Pyro Rumble finals because usually when Grand Party ends, we move right into the Grand to the Pyro Rumble finals. And then he says that we should get the full anniversary info May 10th at latest. I think they will do a staggered hype where like we get some teasers, we'll get like commercials hyping up. And then we move on to actual info with data mining and everything. And then like a day before the Sugo, we'll get the actual official steps and pools and stuff like that. But yeah, May 12th, and banner, part one. And here's where the controversial stuff begin, which is that the Blitz will be one week after the anniversary banner. And when I first read this, I was like, yeah, that's not happening. Because the way it traditionally works is that anniversary banner drops. We get some event. Last year it was a blitz. I think most agree it should be a blitz this year too. Uh, in the past it has also been a point event that we've been able to farm. But not long after the treasure map, uh, the 
any Sugo drops, we get the treasure map, usually within a week. Because technically, uh, it is a treasure map Sugo, the anniversary Sugo, at least in the past. But if you look here, it's like almost two weeks later that we get the treasure map. So if this is actually true, it might mean we actually get a treasure map Sugo during anniversary. We'll see if they get greedy enough to do that. Hard to say right now. And then a week after Trash Map, we of course get the Kizuna. And that's the literally last day of May. And if you know how end of month batches work, they usually drop like midway through Kizuna. Will be very weird to drop an end of month batch the same day the Kizuna starts. And he, then he also mentions the Film Red Blu ray release. I definitely think they do something for that. But I think that's a topic for another video in the future. But as I said, I was skeptical, but now I'm on board and you might wonder why. So let's move back into the game. And the answer to this is actually in the tavern. I didn't want to go there. Tavern it is. So uh, we're going to go all the way to the back to the support sugar fest. And you see there, I got the 10th multi left. I managed to get the support unit on the 9th multi. Anyway, that's not the topic here. The topic here is the event period text that says that there's 41 days left. Basically, the way support sugars work usually is that uh, midway during the treasure map, we get the uh, super boss announcement for Kisuna together with the Sugo Fest for Kisuna and support. Then the support sugar fest drops during the treasure map, and then it lasts until the next support sugar drops. So basically, the support sugar fest always drops during treasure map. That's the key thing to note, and only for super boss. And basically, we're scheduled to have a super boss during any month because we get a super boss every two months, and Annie is on track on that schedule. But the thing here is that it says 41 days left. And basically, this means that it basically ends when Trash Map starts with the schedule Muffins suggested. So it lines up perfectly with dropping during the Treasure Map for that suggested time frame. And if it runs the usual time frame, then it will drop like the same day Kisna starts, maybe later. And that's obviously not feasible. Obviously, it's not a foregone conclusion that we're getting a new support sugar fest, they can drop it. But there are some other reasons why this schedule makes a lot of sense. If we go back. First, it's the fact that anniversary is May 12th, it's a Friday. If you, rem if you know, uh, Fridays is when the blitzes drop. So that basically means that May 12th will have to be both the Sugo drop and the start of the Blitz, if we follow normal time frame. But then you might ask, why do we need to follow the normal time frame? Just start the Blitz a day later, or whatever. Well, it is the JP anniversary big event in Japan. The times for these events are made to cater for the JP audience. You do not cater for the JP audience by making the biggest Blitz of the year end on a workday on Monday. That won't be popular. So personally, the way I was thinking, like it was like maybe we get a short blitz, maybe we drop it May 12th anyway, because I didn't see the potential of uh, postponing it a week. But that looks like it might be what they do, and I think that's great in general because anniversary often feels very rushed. Like you get the sugo, like a day or two later, bam, we had a blitz. A day or two later after blitz. Bam, trash map, a day or two later of trash map, bam, super boss Kisuna. But now we have like a full week of the Suko Fest, the different parts. We'll probably get some kind of point event or the like, where we farm some unique item. To get rewards like a normal point event, it usually works a bit different during big celebrations, but in the end, you play a lot, farm a lot, you get good rewards. Same thing as usual. So I'm fully on board with this idea myself. Finally, let's take a look at an actual 
calendar. Here we go, Swedish calendar. You have to bear with that. I think you can understand the gist of it. We have Montis ons tors fri, that's Monday to Friday, and then Lör som, that's the weekend. And basically, the 24th is on Monday, so that's when we should be getting out of the first maintenance. I hope we get the update announcement drop there. Wait, wait, I meant the 17th. And yes, I'm going to the dentist on Tuesday. That's very secret information. I shouldn't have shared it. Anyway, 17th is when I hope we get the actual information. And yeah, we actually have a bit of a leeway here because it feels like they'll wait a bit. Witness of Mount Sugofest. Dropping it on the 22nd feels a bit early. So it'll be interesting to see what they plan for next week. Maybe they just let us have fun with the new update, which will be dropping either the next weekend or maybe Monday or Tuesday, something like that. But then, of course, we enter any month. And I'd say that any month starts with Grand Party, which will be around the 3rd of May, I'd say. Going on, on until Sunday, then on May 8th, we should be getting the Power Rumble Finals, which is a bit weird since it lasts during the treasure map. But another reason is that everything is like one week earlier, so maybe they do Grand Party on 26th of April and then Power Rumble Finals starts May 1st. Might be a potential, we just don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. And <clears throat> with that in mind, as said, 12th is the anniversary. So we should be get part one there. Then maybe just spread the other four parts out. It will probably be five parts. And then with the suggested time frame, May 19th will be the Blitz. Going on until the Sunday 21st. Then on 21st, 4th, on the Wednesday, Treasure Map starts, goes on until the Sunday, the 28th. And then on 31st of May, we will get the Kisuna until the week, first weekend of June. So I, I actually think that's what will happen, but obviously not confirmed. It will be very interesting to see how they do it. And I definitely think Anniversary will benefit from a bit slower pace than usual. But yeah. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.